Hello, 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 and welcome to Work Your Career Wednesday. What's going on? Man, look at that. I got my shades on. Future's so bright. Got to wear sunglasses at night. Well, it's not nighttime. But, hey, happy 4th of July. Man, I got these sunglasses on, and I got to tell you, if you saw the show that I did with, oh, excuse me, with John Breaks Bad News, or rather, John from John Breaks Bad News, we talk about my Timu binge. And I got to tell you, I am in full, except for the hat, I'm in full Timu regalia, right? And these sunglasses, I don't know if you guys remember this, but there was a guy by the name of Gene Scott. He was a televangelist and he used to wear, he used to sit in this chair and smoking a giant cigar, right? And uh, he would, he would, he would run video of his ranch and his horses he had phenomenal horses and uh he, he would lean back and he'd be like i don't feel like talking today uh why, why don't you run the tape and show them what they bought <laughs> feel like i feel like that in these glasses but i don't know i don't think you know probably the host shouldn't be wearing sunglasses i'm not sure but the host if if uh, if you're watching this if you're if you are uh if you're listening on the uh, the podcast platforms, I'm wearing my Timu. And here's the other thing about these glasses: they're supposed to lighten and darken when you go in. You know, so when you go into a, a room, they're supposed to get lighter. When you go out in the sun, they're supposed to get darker. I don't know if they're living up to the hype, but hey, man, I needed a pair of sunglasses, so I went ahead and bought them. But anyway, I think I'm gonna take them off. Guys, this show is going to be interesting. Um, we have our wonderful sponsor, Casey Janes, the uh, founder of Janes Physical Therapy. And I got to tell you, this was one of the on the road shows. OK, so we uh, went to uh, New Orleans and we filmed at the Mercantile Hotel and they were absolutely wonderful to us. Uh, I can't I can't thank them enough, but we had audio issues. We had we had some video issues. We had issues the entire shoot. And what was interesting about it to me is that the two and what I would consider the two most important shows were the Chris Williams show. And, uh, you know, his story is so phenomenal. Uh, really talk about overcoming and overcoming in faith. Right. Um, his audio is was terrible and we couldn't we couldn't get the levels right and then we had um uh, casey janes which this show we, i wanted him to come back on the show to talk about the physical therapists and the physical therapy assistants that we're currently recruiting for i wanted people to understand look this is the guy that's going to be signing your checks this is the guy that's going to be calling into this is the guy that you know this is the guy and, um, we've had such great success with, um, uh, with the first show. In fact, you know, we've had s phenomenal guests on and on the podcast platforms, his show is number two. So on Spotify, Apple, his show is the second most listened to show. I mean, that it's incredible. So, so there's that anyway. So that's what this show is about. You know, really what we're looking for in terms of uh, who we're hiring for. Here's the other thing. Um, so the show, we couldn't get it color graded, right? So it's in black and white. So two things that are interesting. I am going to be doing play by play and I'm going to be watching it with you. So, and, and, and listening to it with you. And I'm going to try to uh, get it to where I warn you to turn your volume down so you don't blow out your speakers or your eardrums. So I wanted to, uh, well, that was weird. I wanted to go ahead and, you know, I wanted to tell you what was going on with this show and, um, we're going to watch it together. We're going to listen to it together. So I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, let's, uh, you know, if you don't mind, let's get, this started.
All right, all right. So we're going to get started with the show. Um, there's going to be ads for uh, several minutes, and so uh, want to acknowledge that. And um, let's uh, let's get this started, shall we? Wednesday, and this is Work Your Career Wednesday on the road. And man, I, it just this trip has been great. Uh, really, really blessed. And um, I just can't, I, I just can't be happier. How and, and we're still, we're not done. We're not done. I got to tell you, get ready for this show, okay? But first, let's talk about our sponsors. Uh, first, if you know anything, everything, and anything uh, documented via video, get a hold of Steven Saldana. The number's on the screen, or you can always get a hold of us on the interwebs at www.whitehuskyfilms.com. Dream, create, record in that order. And when you choose White Husky, you'll be so glad you did. And Jane's Physical Therapy. Oh, my gosh. Here's yeah. the deal. We are still looking for four to eight, four to eight physical therapists and PTAs. Listen, we are growing by leaps and bounds. So you want to get in on this. If you want to help change people's lives while it really changing yours get a hold of us right now at jane's pt that's j-a-y-n-e-s-p-t dot com or go to linkedin jane's physical therapy and connect with me on there we're going to talk and i want to talk to you i guarantee you we cannot wait to talk to you um again we're growing by leaps and bounds and it is just such uh, an honor and a blessing for not only to to have jpt as a sponsor but also to be recruiting on this role so talk to a lot of great people and i cannot wait to talk with you so again jane's pt j-a-y-n-e-s-p-t dot com get hold of us on linkedin and connect with me on there as well and we got puente coffee now i'm gonna let the cat out of the bag we have our sponsor and the owner of jane's physical therapy here with us today um what do you think what do you think? Puente coffee. Right. You, want, you, want, you want to smell this? Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. I haven't had it before. It smells good, though. Is that amazing or what? It does smell good. Do uh, you get that around here? Or? No, in Austin. Okay. But you can get it around cool, here. I've not seen it before. Well, so what you do is you go to their Instagram. Okay. Right? It's at Puente Coffee Co. Cool. And it, let me tell you why Puente is so awesome. Okay? Yeah. Now, they're premium Central American coffee, but here's the deal. Cool. So a lot of the big box stores that we all know, yeah, they actually burn their beans. Now I don't mean to interrupt uh, the uh, talking about Puente Coffee, and they're great. But did you see that? Did you see how the the audio, you know, kind of, you know, it, it, it's not right. And I hope your speakers are okay. I hope your ears are okay. But uh, it's going to get softer here in a minute. But uh, I'm going to do my best to prepare you guys. All right, let's get back to it. Okay. So, which is a trip, right? Yeah. And then they mask it with sweetener. Okay. To mask that 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 burn. Mm -hmm. Puente doesn't do that. They roast their own beans, and they're very meticulous about the roast. So they're you know they're coffee connoisseurs themselves. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing about them is, uh, because they're so meticulous, you're gonna get an exquisite, exceptional okay. cup of coffee, and it's been fueling me on this trip. And it will fuel. <laughs> it will fuel all of us. Nice. Um, I love their one of their. It says no additives, just quality. Right there. Yep. Sure does. You guys, you guys nice. see that? You guys see that? Here, let me see. Can we get one right there? Uh, that yeah. tiny, tiny print. Okay. No additives. You're not gonna see it. Yeah. But it I says see. no additives, <laughs> just coffee. So I go to Puente. Say what? Be, if you give that to Kate, I wouldn't be mad at you at all. Oh yeah. I yeah. Here's <laughs> yeah. the deal. I'm keeping this, but Puente is going to send us more and the whole crew is going to get Puente nice. coffee. I just, I have to keep this because it's the first. Really is okay, exceptional. Cool. You know what coffee. I'm saying? Gotcha. But uh, Puente, we are so thrilled that they're hitching their wagon to us. <laughs> and we're the first. <laughs> well, you, know, you know what Puente means? Just <laughs> they're not the first. <laughs> they're not the first. He's the first. Sorry. Sorry, Puente. You can, but this is my first can. <laughs> okay. This is my first can. So here's the thing. Get a hold of them. Get we just right. appreciate Puente so much. And Ken Sparrow, obviously, 
uh, hooked us up, and uh, and you know Ken Geico Gecko, okay. yep. the yeah. Cool. So we're just thrilled about that, and and you know who knows Puente could be the official coffee of James Physical Therapy. Potentially so. Potentially yeah. so. So so let's do okay. And then we, we got some more. Uh, uh, let's see Klein's Jewelry. If you're in the doghouse celebrating, oh wait, no, I screwed it up already. If you are if you are getting if you're in, uh, buying a house, celebrating house, or in the doghouse, there you go. Go get a Klein's. Just go get out of the doghouse. And here's the thing. Klein's been around since 1969. Most of the engaged uh, people that are running around Houston are probably wearing a Klein's diamond. So it's kind of cool, right? Houston legends since 1969. They're, okay. they're great. And, uh, you know, because I'm a, I'm a, you know, I don't like jewelry at all. You know, <laughs> I'm not wearing my lion. Oh, I got it. Okay. I got to fix that. Guys, we're almost done with the ads. Um, but the, everybody that I mentioned is really phenomenal. So if you want to skip ahead, go ahead. But the, they're, these, these people are great. And then we got Colleen Greco. She's got a, a podcast called Joy Unleashed. She's what, uh, she calls a joyologist. Mm -hmm. It's a joyologist, right? Okay. So she's, she, she specializes in uh, teaching how to be, you, how to be joyful. Cool. So that's cool. We all need a little bit of joy. Go uh, listen to her podcast, Joy Unleashed, Colleen Greco. And we have uh, uh, Courtney Turek. She's a former Shark Tank winner with Monkey Matt. Uh, she got a deal with uh, Mark Cuban and Lori Grenier. Since then, she has gone on to be an international speaker and a, um, let me go here, uh, international speaker and a, um, uh, she's she does she's done workshops and stuff like that. The last one was really successful. Um, when she uh, gets ready to do the other one, she will announce it on her new show premiering in the fall, called uh, Bold Moves, Confident Choices with uh, Courtney Turk. Um, so we're so excited. And last but not least, the Mercantile Hotel. They have been so great to us. We have been shooting all around this hotel, and for Work Your Career Wednesday on the road. I am telling you, Daniel is uh, is just second to none. Uh, he I guess, he runs the the southwest uh, southeast, and uh, we'll be we'll be talking more about him in the coming shows. Also, if you're going to the Mercantile, uh, the, you know, the the whole staff's great, but um, get a hold of Miss Donna; she's incredible, and uh, she'll make sure that your stay is incredible too. Wait, did I do? Did I go? Hold on. I think we're uh, we're catching up here. I don't know what happened here. Hold on, hold on. I got to tell you, you know, maybe that's a sign. Here, let's see where we're at. Appreciate the Mercantile for being so kind and gracious to us, and uh, thank you so much. Now on with the show. Goodness gracious, Casey wow, James, wow. what's up, man? What's up, dude? Brother, we have been going <coughs> gangbusters. On on hiring, it's been happening. It's been happening. Now watch throughout this throughout. You know, we're, now we're finally at Casey, and it took a long time to get there. And sorry about that. But listen, you're going to hear different audio spikes. It's 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 really interesting. And like I said, I encourage you to stick with us. But it, you'll see what I'm talking about. And we got some good people. We're still looking for more. Um, tell me um, here. Let me throw this to you. Oh no! I got the box over here. You know what? What is it that? Uh, oh, what? What? What do we look for? What do you look for in a in in a PT and a PTA? Uh, I mean, I guess a couple things. But first up, obviously, looking for a physical therapist. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, but no, so you know, obviously, if you're a physical therapist, have to be a physical therapist. But um, we'll start there. We'll start there. Licensed physical therapist. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, generally you're looking for someone who is you know, a team player, yeah. someone who works well with people, someone who enjoys what they Okay, there you go. So his audio started to spike. Mine is super hot. And um, you'll, you'll, see, you'll see what I'm talking about. Just, but just get ready. Um, there's, there's more. There's more. And it's just, it's all through the show. You know, and again, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to, uh, help your speakers in your ears so they do you know a people person uh they're here for a job uh, that they enjoy doing not here to just collect a paycheck right um <clears throat> someone who you know is going to show up 
and, you know, and really work with the patient. They're not just kind of getting in and out, right? They're not just yeah. going through the motions. Um, that's obviously a big piece uh, that you're looking for in any position. Sure. Um, in addition to that, you know, really looking for like a team player, someone who's, you know, they can be flexible. Um, you know, they, they want to be a part of the team. It's not just about them and, you know, doing their thing and kind of being independent and separate from everybody and yeah. everything else around them. Um, so you're looking for flexibility, um, obviously a reliability. You know, someone that you know you can count on. Um, you know, that you know that you're going to get quality. Yeah. Um, and know that they're going to follow through um, on their responsibilities and on their commitments. Um, so when you're kind of getting uh, somebody who's flexible, someone who you can count on, and someone who's a team player, that's probably the three main things I'm looking for. Okay. Um, in, in a therapist, uh, someone that can come and be an asset to our team and uh, at the same time, you know, enjoy being a part of the team as well. We have a pretty solid team. Uh, probably my single favorite thing about contracting, I've been an employee, I've been subcontracted, I contract now. And my favorite thing is I work with who I want to work with. Yeah, there you I'm, go. I don't have to be paired up with anybody if they're not a good fit um, or, you know, just someone who I don't think is going to be, um, you know, enjoyable to work with mm. or someone who I want to uh, be in a working relationship with or certainly not to manage. You know, it's... I mean, no hard feelings, but at the same time, I'm not going to bring them onto the team. So we're looking for people who are a good fit. I get to choose who I work with, uh, you know, people who want to be here, people who are going to be an asset or enjoyable, um, you know, to work with. I don't mind, you know, obviously, you know, nobody's perfect, um, but, you know, I don't mind dealing with issues as they come up. Uh, but at the same time, it's not a, a consistent theme, you know. Sure. Uh, issues may arise. Um, you know, pointing fingers, it doesn't matter, you know, you wow. know right or wrong. Right. You just resolve issues. But everybody's looking to move forward together is the point. I'm sorry, but, you know, one of the main reasons, I think one of the, one, a great reason mm -hmm. for folks to come and, you know, at least uh, come in and talk with you is that, you know, am I, am I right or am I wrong? Like, you know, listening to this guy talk with his velvet voice... <laughs> It's like, hey, this is what we're looking for, and it's very, it's like, it's so ASMR right there. It's like, you know what I mean? It's relaxing. It's calming. Okay. It's very, you know what I mean? I'm pretty, pretty laid back. I'm pretty, I stay pretty chill. I'm pretty laid back. I stay yeah. pretty. Yeah, I, mean, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I'm then and then you're and then here I am, Mister, you know, loud, and I'm probably hot on this mic, uh -huh. and you're just like, this is what I'm looking cool. for. This is, I love that. Okay. I love that. The predictability of the hot mic. I mean, I'm loud already, but you know, and we're, and it, you know, we tried to adjust it, um, to you know, to where it's listenable. But that there you go again. You know, it's it's uh, it's doing its thing. So that yeah, I get excited about some things. I mean, I get excited in general about stuff, but yeah, overall. Well, I, our first our first hire that went from PRN to full time. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but when I heard that, I'll put it this way. Every single hire, uh -huh. I just go through the roof excited. Yeah. I like, I'm sure he's on the other line going. <laughs> so, well, yeah, you were pretty pumped. <laughs> but hey, working out great, right? You know, signed working on, out great. interested. PRN seems to be a really good fit. Really, um, yeah, really like them from, obviously, you interviewed first. Yeah. Uh, you really like them. So, you know, obviously I've got a, a bias toward that, but obviously you can tell a lot from talking to somebody. You really can. Um, and the, one of the things um, that I've noticed is when we're, when we're looking for people, mm -hmm. typically we're talking to folks that, now if they've, in, they've been in home health before, it's, it's, it's pretty easy, you know, and then it's just a, a matter of, are they going to fit with the team? Right. Yeah, a chemistry fit kind of thing. Chemistry fit, yes, absolutely. But, but we've we've also talked to some folks coming out of a clinic, right? Yeah. Or coming out of like a hospital environment. Yeah. For example, I was in I was in the hospital recently, and over at Methodist, spoke to a you know great guy. I was trying to recruit. Okay, I was I was okay. It was pretty bad. I was working. Okay, guys, get ready. It's about to spike. It's about to go louder. And so just get ready for your, I don't want, I don't want your speakers to blow out. Okay. I was, <laughs> I, was I, I was working when I shouldn't have been working, but, uh, talk to a physical therapist, uh, at, at Methodist. And I'm like, are you married to Houston? Like, are you married? You know? And he gave us a referral. It was very gracious. But, um, a lot of times when folks don't know what True. home health is like, like, 
you know, a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people don't have experience in home health. So, I mean, I think they actually have home health um, rotations now in school, mm -hmm. or at least some schools. Um, I didn't have a home health rotation, so I right. had like an inpatient, you know, like a long term. I had acute care, short term hospital, and outpatient. And then my instructor for the uh, for the inpatient care did home health on the side, just a couple visits a week. I think it was like two to four visits a week, and uh, that was it. And so she invited me, and I was like, yeah, I'd like to go check that out. Yeah. Uh, so she invited me on one of the visits, and I went. I still remember the visit, and um, that was my only exposure to home health. Wow. So coming out of school, that wasn't even on my radar. Here, here's the other thing, too, that um, when I'm recruiting folks, and that, you know, I've been doing it for a few months now, and we, you know, when I'm talking to people about you, not for nothing, mm -hmm. but it's like, you know, Casey is he's he's black and white he's Pretty black and white. right yeah but you know he, he's, certainly the show he's is faith. he's governed by that mm -hmm. primarily um at the same time you know he's very organized he's you know there's a lot of and what i noticed too when i was talking and again it came up again mm -hmm. when i was talking to uh the uh, dpt at methodist okay he said, well, there's, you know, he said, yeah, uh, there's some home health uh, um, uh, organizations that, uh, you know, they really don't, you know, you know, they call me up at, or he said a friend of his, it was called him up at like, you know, it was, it was, it was his last um, patient of the day, called him up and said, I need you to be here next Y, Z. And it was like an hour and a half away. Oh, wow. And he said, you know, I don't want to deal with that. And, and I said, well, okay, that's. I mean, it's a team, so if something happens, you know, the, you know, but Casey is so meticulous uh, and he respects people's time and he respects people's, you know, he, he just respects their work. Yes. Absolute facts. And, and that's something that I think in the business that, and I'll count myself in that, we're in now, yes. right? That's one of the things that sets JPT apart. That is different. I mean, I've been subcontracted. I know how it works. Yeah. And, you know, Sorry, I missed that one, but um, yep, be careful. They'll send you anywhere you want to go, and they'll kind of pressure you into stuff um, at times, and um, or so it can't be oftentimes. Right, uh, it just kind of depends, uh, you know. And they're just looking for coverage at the same time. And so there's really you're very independent one in home health. I mean, you know, you're treating one on one. You're going to the patient's home. You know, you may cross with other disciplines. You're not there at the same time as your assistant, mm -hmm. um, or you did something wrong. Um, or another PT, or you did something wrong. Right. <laughs> it's, a, right. it's a one on one treat. Um, you see, you know, there's a scheduling error uh, you know, if that happens. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, at the same time, it's, uh, you know, you kind of like I'm very meticulous in what I discuss on hire. Yeah. Uh, to see what people are interested in, uh, what you're willing to do, what you're comfortable with, mm -hmm. you know, and then essentially instead of trying to fit someone into a, a role, I'm trying to come to common ground, right? You know, how can we be mutually beneficial in this relationship, or can we, right? Versus yeah. can we? Um, and then, if you're going to be a good fit for the team, well, how can we make this work for both of us? And then, what we discuss, well, that's the parameters that you know, obviously, that that's my expectation. Yeah. Uh, and whatever we discuss, that's your expectation for me, and I'm I'm good for whatever I say. So whatever we set, as you are comfortable with this, you are willing to do this. You know, um, obviously, there might be you might have a norm. Okay, this is my regular coverage area, but you know, might need you to flex here or there, but, mm -hmm. but also again, you know, are you willing to do this? Is this something you can do? And that's going to, part of that would be, are you going to be a fit for the team? Because obviously if you have an extremely concentrated coverage area, you know, home health, you're going to have to do a little driving. Right. You don't have to be super spread out. You don't have to, you know, be making 30 to 45 minute drives on a right. regular basis. Uh, but, you know, every once in a while that may happen. Well, uh, it, or you may get stuck in traffic. Sure. Or this or that. But um, ultimately again, you know, what are you comfortable with? Are you a fit here with that? And then we're going to work together within those terms. And I'm not going to pressure you outside of that. I'm not going to pressure you inside of that. But I do expect you to be available. Yeah. If you want, if you want to maintain um, this, <clears throat> you know, if you want to maintain um, me counting on you for this and this being your position, um, and not having to hire someone behind you, you know, to kind of replace that, then as long as I'm counting you for it, we're good. And, um, you know, I'll absolutely, you hold up to your end of the deal. I'm absolutely. Holding you absolutely hold up your end of the deal. I look at my watch because I know you're, you have time constraint. Okay. And there's a couple things I want, sure. I, I want to cover. Um, one of the, one of the things is, 
I want to emphasize this when when you're talking to folks and you're you know, you have done it, so you understand. Yeah. You're not. And forgive me for saying you're not a recruiter. That's <laughs> right. That I'm just. I I mean I've been in New Orleans now for a week. I get it. I really do get it. You know, I, I, in Texas you can drive. You know. You can drive. You drive an hour out of Houston. You know, you're still in Houston. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. So, but it, I get it. It's 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 a lot, and so. But I'm not. He's not a recruiter that doesn't understand the work and doesn't understand the commute. This guy gets it. In fact, there was a time where uh, you know we needed to have coverage area. The f a full-time PT, 30, 35 visits a week. Most people around 30 plus or minus. Some people like 35, maybe 40 at the high end. Most this guy was doing 60. <laughs> so it's not, it's not <clears throat> like he doesn't get it. So I want to emphasize that fact for every PT. Oh, and by the way, you know we've had NFL stars, MLB stars, TV stars. Uh, who else, Steven? Who else, Steven? Uh... Uh, to buzz to uh, bil billionaire lawyers uh, who else Chichito. Chichito, major league baseball player yeah we, ray delgado it's, ray delgado right 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 ray delgado uh, not Chichito, well Chichito, but ray delgado uh anyway we've had a uh carla ty, carla ty. and um nicole adams, nicole adams. <clears throat> this guy the owner the 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 man the cheese <laughs> The, you know, the men, the myth, the legend, right? We went on our podcast platforms. We went on Spotify, uh, October. This guy is the second most listened to podcast on our podcast that it, you went from third to second, by the way. Cool. That's huge. That, oh, Ken Spera too. Well, he's number one. Casey is hot on his heels. That is amazing. Cool. So that that's just cool. goes to show you, um, there's something about his message and his story that that's resonating with people, and I want to I want to um, I want to acknowledge that because it's pretty huge. Real quick, because um, I know you got to go, sure. But you are very much, uh, and I I'm, I can't wait to pick your brain about some habits I need to to quit, uh -huh. just desperately. And uh, we won't say what they are. Um, well, it's only one. But and then the other one. Okay, you can say two. Uh -huh. I but I'm, I've begun to eat better. Awesome. I really have. I think that's probably why um, I didn't need the blood pressure medication so so yeah. much because I've been following your lead and and eating better. Awesome. So guys, why is this significant? Okay, so the deal was, I was in the hospital. Um, the beginning of May. I was in there for about four or five days. Um, so if I, I got out Thursday morning <clears throat> and I was traveling to New Orleans that next Monday, I was in the, uh, the IMU, almost died. And um, they told me I wasn't supposed, they told me not to travel. But the interesting part about that was as I'm uh, getting ready to go, I'm 30 pounds over the weight that I am now. And it was water. I had severe edema all throughout my body. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that, but you know, I mean, they told me not to travel. I traveled. I had to, we had these, you know, these shows scheduled, uh, you know, a month in advance, but we're going to get into uh, preventative medicine and, um, the the importance of that but uh that's why i'm talking about this and that's why it's you know kind of significant moving more and all of that so that's cool um but then i didn't adjust for my medication so it, you know gotcha. but here's the deal uh you are a big advocate for uh how do you say like holistic medicine yeah holistic approach in general or holistic, holistic approach in general but so there are a lot of people out there like like me mm -hmm that want to uh that that want to get better okay right a lot of times I, i've heard this before that uh 
you know, healthcare isn't really healthcare, it's like sick care. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, but your approach is really trying to help people get healthy in, in, in a, in, in addition to their, their treatment plans. Yes. So, <clears throat> what brought you to that? Uh, personal uh, experience. So, yeah. I mean, it took me uh, two years of doing home health. Uh, I've been doing home health for almost 16 years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was, you know, I grew up, I was heavy, always heavy through high school, lost weight for a couple of years, gained it back. Uh, so I was always working to, to lose weight. And obviously, this know, guy is up. a. Isn't it interesting that we get into his, his story? The audio goes down. I mean, it's, it's just all throughout this shoot. Felt. Um, and get ready. Um, I am going, I'm going to try to catch it, but it's going to get loud here in a second. Or in a couple minutes, yeah, but, you know, uh, good looking guy, but, you know, um, but, you know, always looking to, you know, lose weight. So therefore, obviously diet mm -hmm. and within two years of home health, because obviously, you know, you talk about food and you saw everything with patients oh, yeah. and um, see and you also see what they're eating. Like you see stuff lying around and what they're drinking and realize the the absolute direct correlation with quality of life, with aging mm -hmm. and dietary habits with their eating and drinking. And, you know, the people who were, you know, typically eating, you know, fresh foods and not a lot of processed foods and drinking mostly water, I mean, they were, they were doing pretty well into their 90s. And the people who were, uh, you know, a lot of junk food, ultra processed food. Smoking. Did, smoking, didn't yeah. like water. They drank Coke all day long. I mean, they were like early, mid 70s and having extreme medical problems. Wow. So, I mean, you're looking at a 20 year difference. And the ones that really stuck out to me is... Um, a lady in her mid seventies, um, just incredibly limited, unexplainable pain. Like when I say unexplainable, like the doctor couldn't explain it, didn't know why. Just so so limited on a walker, and she was like mid 70, 75, 76 range, and and she got better. But you can only improve within the medical parameters. Mm -hmm. You know, you have medical limitations. You know, with blood pressure, with um, you know arthritis, and um, you know, or pain for whatever reason, um, nerve pain. And you can make some improvements. But, you know, there's going to be a limitation on how much improvement um, if it's truly medical, um, you know, the limitations versus someone who was, um, you know, again, on the other end of the spectrum, eating pretty much fresh foods, drank mostly water, and they were, were coming to the hospital for pneumonia, and they were like in their, I think, mid-90s. Oh, and wow. she walked with a cane because she had a little bit of arthritis in one of her hips. And I think it was her right hip. She walked with a cane because of that. Otherwise, was independent the community driving. I saw her for three weeks, and she was back to independent community driving. Wow! Like ninety-five ish, somewhere in the mid nineties. So I was like, "That's a huge difference." So I've heard, I've heard the, you know, the, uh, you know, it costs more money to eat right. You know, it's, it's more expensive. Oh. This and that. I don't know. I would, I would submit. Okay, we're getting ready. It's going to get loud, so just be prepared for that. We're almost there, and I know it that it's a lot more expensive to be on your deathbed. There it is. It is. It's then, a lot more you know, expensive to pay for, you know, 10, 15, 20 prescription meds to pay, you know, multiple <laughs> hospital bills. Yep, yeah, that's right. And uh, then, of course, what is quality of life worth to you? Right. If your last 10, 15, 20 years is, you know, on all these meds limited to your home and in and at the hospital, and you can't do the things that you really want to do yeah. with the people you want to do them with, what's that worth to you? So mm. a little bit of extra money, and it really doesn't have to be that expensive. You know, you there's a lot in you. There's a lot of information online and recipes and this and that, but it doesn't have to be that expensive just to get some fresh foods as opposed to boxed, you know, ultra processed foods. Got it. And at the same time, you know, you could finish out, you know, ten, fifteen, twenty years with high quality of life again, doing the things that you want to do, uh, being able to enjoy them as you do them, feeling good as you do them, and again with the people who you want to do them with. So, um, and again, I know, I know you got to go. So what would your like ultimate advice be to someone watching this that wants to lose weight, wants to get healthy? Let's say, I don't know, they're in their late forties, <laughs> <laughs> but wants to go, you know, obviously live longer. I mean, the two biggest things <clears throat> beyond, I mean, most people have an idea of what they should eat. Some people it. don't. Sorry. Some yeah. people just look at, oh, wow. No, I'm like, yeah. Uh, but most people have somewhat of an idea. Uh, but generally, and then the two biggest things for me, don't overeat and cut out snacking. 
you know, just not that I can never have a snack, but it's not a regular, it's not regular, you know, not having a snack every day or a couple times a day, every day. It's the exception, not the norm. But if they, if they are snacks, I don't mean to cut you off, but yeah. if they are snacks, they need to be like something that's going to benefit you, right? Like Ideally. not just filler. Not just filler, something beneficial. Okay. Yeah. And you don't have to eat like a rabbit. Mm -hmm. no. There's so many alternatives now. I mean, I remember uh, a while back, you know, we were making cauliflower mac and cheese. Now it was high in fat, but it was it was, it, it was really good. It was high, you know what I mean? High pro but anyway, I'm going to cut you off. But yeah. and I just want to, you know, you don't have to eat like, it's not the 70s. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's there's so many cool things to, to munch There's on. a lot of options. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of dietary philosophies. Um, what I recommend to everybody, not just regarding uh, diet, but you know, even with, um, you know, if they want to do exercise or you know, rehab, you know, just whatever, I always recommend do your own research so you can gather the information. And when you have the information, now you can make an informed decision that yeah. you feel is in your best interest. Yeah. Uh, because ultimately, you shouldn't be taking any one individual's word for it. You know, just because I'm a therapist, just because they're a doctor, just because they're a whatever, you know, am I really just going to base my entire life around what somebody else tells me? Or can I go gather the information so that maybe I can collaborate with people? And yes, I can take the advice of someone or at least consider the advice um, that they give me, which can certainly be beneficial, but may not be accurate either. Why do people mm -hmm. go to doctors for second opinions or third opinions? Well, because maybe they don't want to, maybe they want to see if there's more options available than the first thing that was told. And sure. oftentimes, oftentimes there is more than one option available. And so if you gather the information and you can make a decision and you advise other people, but it's not an absolute, this one person told me this and therefore now you don't. It's gospel, it. right? Yeah, it's not gospel uh, yeah. because that's how people can be you know, very limited in what their actual options are, thinking this is my only option. And hey, what if they're wrong? Because mm -hmm. people can be wrong. And even if they're right, are they? is it 100%? Or are there other options available and other things that may be beneficial to me also that I could be missing out on? If this one thing only is my absolute truth and nothing else. Got it. Listen, we're going to have more um, in the coming, I don't know, years with with Casey Janes. But Casey, brother, cool. thank you, man. Yeah, been a pleasure. Thank you dude. so much. Everybody, go to janespt.com. Again, apply there. Uh, go and follow uh, Casey at, well, you, you've got your own LinkedIn. Yep. So, you, you know, you can follow him there. Or go to Jane's Physical Therapy on LinkedIn. Follow Jane's PT on LinkedIn, LinkedIn too. Follow, right, that's what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then go and, and uh, get in contact with me on LinkedIn. <laughs> we're going to talk anyway. We may as well, <laughs> may as well start there. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see that. All good. It's live, man. All good. <laughs> can't wait to speak with you can't wait to talk with you Casey thank you again so much for, for, for being here and uh, for all of us at uh, White Husky Films Work Your Career Wednesday Jane's Physical Therapy we love you God bless you and let us face shine upon you and give you great peace be excellent to yourself and each other and apply 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 we can't wait to talk with you uh, physical therapists can't wait to talk with you PTAs yes <laughs> talk soon Guys, there it was, man. And, I, you know, thanks for sticking around. We have, um, I want to I want to do final thoughts on this show, but, uh, you know, what he said, the, the information that he put out is so valuable, not just for people that we're trying to hire, but, you know, he said a lot of things there. You know, when it comes to, you know, getting a second opinion, getting second, third, maybe even fourth opinion, being your own advocate, so important but do you see what i'm saying like the the importance of this show was to get people to you know apply you know to, to get for you know for me to go out and find them you know i use these as recruiting tools you know here is the guy that is going to be signing your checks here's the guy that you know uh, you're going to be reporting to you know for having a bad day He's the guy that's going to be praying for you and with you. You know, if you're having a great day, he's the guy that's going to be celebrating with you. And of course, of course, there were audio issues with that. 
I mean, it just didn't make sense. It just didn't, you know, Chris Williams show amazing show. Didn't make sense that his audio was, in, was unlistenable. Casey Janes kept going in and out, in and out, in and out the two most important shows. So I firmly believe that we were, uh, we were fighting against forces unseen, but you know what? The message still got out. Stay tuned for final thoughts. And, uh, (laughs) I will be back in a moment. Guys, thanks so much for sticking around for, for that. And, and um, <clears throat> it, you know, it was an important show. It, it really is. Um, you know, there's so many things. Our world is so strange right now. It, it's, it is. Um, we're stuck in a time at the moment where, you know, like I've said it before, you know, folks will listen to a half truth and think it's gospel you know, because they're just so starved for authenticity. And Casey is a, is a, just an authentic guy. He really is an amazing dude. And if you go back and, and listen to his story, um, uh, I think it was season two or three. I'd have to go back and look, but you know, when we interviewed him the first time, uh, his story is, is really impactful, you know? How is it that a guy, you know, he's heavy his whole life. You wouldn't know it. You know, he's heavy his whole life. He goes into healthcare for a reason because he was helped. And so he wanted to be, you know, a, a tool that could help other people. That's why he's doing it. And, and the people that were hiring, they have the same philosophies. And so, you know, but we're just, you know, again, you know, it was just so strange that it was those two shows, Chris Williams show and, and, and this show that we had all the issues with. And it didn't make sense. It was closed set. I mean, it was in my hotel room (laughs) that we did Casey's show in, um, closed set, quiet, you know, levels, uh, we thought were fine. And they weren't, uh, when we, when we played it back. And so, so thanks for sticking around. Love to get your thoughts on this, but there's a couple other things I want to talk about too. You know, along with being healthy, getting healthy, there's something to be said for expressing gratitude and, and telling other people that they're amazing. There's a challenge that I've, that I've put out and you know, what I'm going to put out to you guys too and do it for a week and let me know what you think. But like, for example, you go to Starbucks, right? You get a, you're at a, you're at the, you're at um, the counter, right? You're talking to a barista at the end of your order. I challenge you to say, Hey, has anyone told you that you're awesome today? And then tell them that they're awesome. The answer will probably be no. But it's amazing to see just a little small piece of of thankfulness or, you know, uh, gratitude that they are working there and they stood there and they took your order. There's so many people, especially in, in like fast food or whatever, you know, where people come in. And, and that there's this air of superiority because they're the ones ordering the coffee and, and they can afford this five, $6 coffee, you know? And I don't know. It's, it's like they feel superior. So they, they go ahead and tell you how superior they feel. 
if something's not right, it's like the entire day has been ruined. And, and these people get yelled at all the time. But what about being that person that's the catalyst for change? You know, you never know what people are going through. They could be going through a lot. And you coming up to them and saying that they're awesome. And you know what? Don't even don't limit it to baristas. Go to your, go inside your companies and, and say that to the people that that work for you. Say it to the people that work with you. You know, people, it's amazing for me to see, but people are starving starving for for a little bit of acknowledgement so often in my life i have just not felt that i was worth much and then there have been people that have reminded me that 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 i am worth something and that i am doing something right and i am good at things it's so important to do that because we're just living in a world that's so full of darkness. Be the light. Be the light that's shining. You know, um, it, it's more often than not, more often than not, we allow ourselves to get caught up in the, in, in the, the incredible world events that are happening and, and to the point where they become minutiae. I remember there was this meme where uh, uh, from Facebook and said, Mark's safe from whatever I was supposed to be afraid of today, you know, but guess what? When you tell someone else that they're awesome in this awesome challenge, guess what happens to you? You feel great. You feel awesome. I don't know what it is, but acknowledging that, and just and, and telling people that they're great, they're do, it does something. Now, you know, I'm not, I'm not telling you to co-sign on bad behavior. I'm not telling you to do any of that. Because that's not love. We know that. You know, we, if we want people to be better and there's something that we're, you know, that they need to improve on, you go to them in love and, and let them know that, uh, you know, hopefully you give them some solutions, right? In the middle of the day or in the morning or at night, you know, you're there and you're able to tell someone that they're great. It makes you feel wonderful. You never know what people are going through. Now, sometimes people are so guarded, right? They have this shell, this impenetrable shell. And it's hard to get through. I mean, it, impenetrable, right? But that doesn't mean you don't say it anyway. We're planting seeds here, people. We're planting seeds. You want to see change? Be the change you want to see. Be the change you want to see. The only thing that, that drives out darkness is the light. You got to be that. There's... <laughs> It's, 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 uh, it's one of those things where, um, it's amazing how, you know, I'm not doing positive thinking or anything like that. You know, my, the, where this comes from is, is, is my faith, pure and simple. And, um, I know that without the Lord, I would not be anything. I know that. And, um, but what does that, what does that mean? The, the, you know, the thing is, is that the happiness that I feel I can't contain it, I can't keep it to myself. You know, I have to, I have to express it. And I'm, I've made, I made severe mistakes. I made stupid mistakes, man. I, I, I can't even tell you, but you know what, man, but God, God's grace. God's grace has gotten me through a lot, you know? So I just encourage you to do that. You know, and if you take up, if you're still listening to this and you take up the awesome challenge, the your awesome challenge, let me know how I go. Do it for a week. That's it. Just do it for a week and let me know, come back here in the comments and let me know how it went. I'd love to know. 
I'd love to know. How did it make you feel? Did you did you watch the the smile on the face of the person that you told? It's so surprising. You know, even if you don't ask them, you know, if you, has, has anyone told you that you're awesome today? You don't have to say that. But it's interesting when you ask that question and then they come back and they're like, no. <laughs> well, you're awesome. Let me tell you. Let me be the first. I always go, no. So I'm the first. Oh, man. Number one again. You're right. And then if they said, well, yes, I have. Oh, man, I get to be a part of the list. Man, too cool. Right. Just being that person that, you know, uh, it, sorry, man, I just keep getting text after text. Uh, being that person that is um, not the, the the person yelling at somebody else and, and acknowledging how great, the greatness in someone, regardless of what they do, the great the greatness that's that's inside of them. And, you know, you never know what people are going through. You know, maybe they're going through some really hard times, you know, and they need that little bit of kindness. So I just encourage you to do that today or do that for the week or today, whenever you're watching this, do that. All right. But at the end of all of this, know this, that I love you. and God bless you. Let his face shine upon you and give you great peace. Be excellent to yourself and be excellent to each other. And let me tell you something. Hey, has anyone told you that you're awesome today? Well, you are awesome. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, hey, we will see you next week. Thanks so much, guys. Thank <laughs> you.